Hi, so this is the night of my second day, and I did my enema in the morning, soaked my hands, think about well. I really do feel like that's what gives me energy during the day because I've done fasting without doing the enemas, and I feel a lot worse when I don't do them than when I do. Um, went to work and was pretty productive. I had a good chat with my one of my coworkers um, about health. He had really bad eczema. He was used in a lot of studies in California because his eczema was that bad. I'm just kind of exchanging information about what we've gone through and what works and what doesn't work. Um, my former coworker Miles was there and that was fun just chatting with him and yeah, it wasn't really a stressful day. It's pretty easy to handle, getting stuff done. Pretty productive as well. Um, after work, hung out with middle schoolers. It's pretty fun. I felt pretty drained and tired, but I'm glad that I went. Um, the best part was when I drove two boys home, and we just chatted. And I usually drive them home on Friday nights, so it was good catching up with them since I didn't make it to the last two and then we had Thanksgiving so I haven't seen them in like a month so it was just good like chatting with them and seeing what they've done they seem pretty open and picked my sister up from work came home, it was 11 o'clock chatted I wasn't too hungry today I had like a few moments like when my coworker was eating miso soup and the whole room smelled like miso soup that kind of made me hungry and uh, when I came home, my sister's cooking bacon. The whole house smelled like bacon. Like, I'm not gonna lie, your, my senses, like, my sense of smell seems to be amplified since I haven't been eating. Um, I probably drank about two liters of water, not quite a gallon, or, yeah, like half a gallon, two liters, somewhere around there. And I actually weighed myself. I weigh around 106, and I know when I'm not fasting, I weigh around, like, 108.8. So I've lost a little bit of weight. And... Oh, fingers. And eczema. So here's the eczema. I don't know if that leg's any better. But that's it right there. And it's not so weepy anymore. Oh, I guess this one too. It's not super weepy. It's more like dry and flaky. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit red. You can see like the spots that I scratched. Like right here. Like here I broke the skin a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the patch on my right hand, this one isn't so weepy. It's more like dry and scaly. It's kind of peeling off. Um, it tends to go through a cycle where it like pusses, then it crusts, and then it scabs and like peels off, and then either heals or goes through the same cycle again. Um, the patch on my left hand right here seems to have gotten smaller. Like This part here seems to be reduced. It's not as red as it used to be. Um, my fingers, they seem to be about the same. Still kind of splitting. And this one actually got worse. And there's like pen ink on my hand. Um, not sure what caused it to get worse, if it's just like the cold, not wearing gloves, or it's freaking out. And the eczema on the outside of my fingers, not sure if you can see that. I don't know, but it's getting better. It's not pussing, it's not really itchy, it used to be really itchy there. So it's doing a lot better. Um. One thing I would like to take note of next time is my tongue. Apparently you're supposed to be able to tell like how healthy the body is just by looking at your tongue. Different organs and stuff. And also like the white goop when you scrape your tongue in the morning is supposed to indicate how well your body digested the food the night before, like how it's doing, something like that. Um, the heels on my feet, not gonna lie, they're not very pretty looking. They're kind of cracked. And the my heels are kind of grayish. I'm sure that's not healthy. And they're very rough. So I'm just going to try and keep note of that. But like, I try and dry brush in the morning and that seems to like keep the rest of my skin like pretty soft in comparison. 
Um, yeah, dry brushing is kind of nice. And I think that's about it. So, good night. And uh, it's not too bad. I can see myself keep going. Apparently, the third day is supposed to be the hardest, so we'll see how I do tomorrow.